Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Hi Packies, I'm going to explain in this video why no one in my life understands me, and they never will. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. My name is Grayson Brock, I'm 21 years old, and I'm currently recording live from Texas. Some of you will be able to relate, most of you won't. Stay till the end if you actually want to understand. If anyone who actually knows me is watching this, they're probably going, what the heck is Grayson saying? What happened to Grayson? I don't care. I literally don't care. What am I afraid of? Nothing. Like everybody wants you to stay who you were. No, I want to grow. I'm not afraid to go, oh, I want to learn about Buddhism. Boom, I go to a Buddhist temple, shave my head off, shave my eyebrows. Is it going to kill me? Is it going to hurt me? No, it's going to grow back. I don't care then. Send it. My name is Grayson Brock. I'm 21 years old from Texas. If you would like to directly support the streaming, click the link in my bio and buy me a coffee. This content is free, and this YouTube channel in my life is basically a sacrifice. I'm basically sacrificing myself for doing the impossible. I'm a 21, 21 year old kid just like you, just like you were, or just like you will be. In I live like 500 miles per hour. Not in a bad way, in a great way. When I learn, when I wanna learn something, I go all in. When I wanna do something, I go all in. I don't, let, I don't, I don't fear what other people fear. I don't, I don't have this, I, I don't, I'm not scared of anything. Unless someone's gonna try and kill me, then I will be like a little bit weary. But if someone's not gonna hurt me, I don't care. For example, if I'm walking down the street and, you, and a random person walks by, I'd be like, hey, what's up? Like, I, hey, how you doing? Even if, they, even if half the time they don't even say anything back to me. I don't care. I literally don't care. I'm awake. This is like the Buddha. The Buddha is the name given to a man who lived 2,500 years ago, more or less, something like that. His name was Siddhartha Gautama, according to my research and readings. So it was a guy named Siddhartha, and they gave him the name of the Buddha, which means the enlightened one. And the Buddha, they asked the Buddha, are you, are you God? And he said, no, no. They were like, whoa, whoa, wait. Are you a reincarnation of God? He said, no. He said, well, okay, what are you? He said, I'm awake. I'm awake. I'm awake. Like when I walk outside, I am awake. Like I look at you in the eye. If you, if, you, if you saw me in person, you would know that I'm actually looking at you. I'm actually here, like I'm actually here. Wake up! I think like 90% of the people I interact with are not awake. That being said, I'm so awake that I actually go and go towards my interest. I just chase my interest. I just like do it. I'm not afraid to go, oh, I want to learn about Buddhism. Boom. I go to a Buddhist temple, shave my head off, shave my eyebrows. Is it going to kill me? Is it going to hurt me? No, it's going to grow back. I don't care then. Send it. What am I afraid of? Nothing. I'm only afraid of God and dying. And in a way, I'm already going to die, so I'm not really afraid of it. But like, if you were threatening me with something, I would, that would prevent me from doing certain things. Right? So if someone says, you know, don't leave this room or you'll die. I'll like, okay, I'll have to think about leaving this room now. Now, if someone says, don't leave this room, and there's no threat to it, then I'll just be like, okay, I'm just gonna leave the room. Okay, boom, but about boom, pow. Anyways, what I'm saying, chat, is everyone in my life, including you guys, probably at some point, and if it hasn't happened yet, it will happen. It's inevitable, God willing. Everyone in my life doesn't understand me. Some of them understand me better than others, but the real people who understand me know that I'm always changing. I'm always evolving. I'm learning things quick. So for example, I come on this stream and I can say, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. And if, any, so if anyone who actually knows me is watching this, they're probably going, what the heck is Grayson saying? What happened to Grayson? What is he saying right now? 
They don't know that over the past six months, I've been just devouring the Quran. I've been devouring Arabic. I've been devouring the culture of worshiping one God. I've been going to a mosque. This is one category of my life. And I've gone all the way in. And now I understand what all these terms mean. I understand what mashallah means, inshallah, Allah, Akbar. That just means God is the greatest. It turns out Christians who speak Arabic say that too. So it's not a thing that only Muslims say. This is just a word that means Allah is a word for God. And Jesus is believed to have spoken Aramaic. How you say God in Aramaic is Allah or Eloi, I don't know, but Allah. So what I'm saying is I learn things quick like that. Boom, 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 boom. And then when I go back to my friends, they haven't seen me in a few months and they're thinking like, oh, who's this guy? Oh, yo, you just shaved your head? I thought you, I thought you had long hair. Oh, what? Oh, what? You? And I'm like, bruh. Everyone, like, it's like, it makes me want to just like, bruh, just, like, nobody gets it. I'm like going at such a fast rate that in their eyes, I change like overnight, right? They see me and then they see me two months later and they think, oh my gosh, this guy has changed so much. Yeah, I have changed so much because I've been looking at, I, because when I get, when I go into something, I do it all day. So if you look into something and you do it for like one hour a month and I'm doing it for eight hours a day, I'm going to appear to you like everything is relevant. I'm going to appear to you that I just like changed overnight. Oh my gosh, you just changed in two months. No, <laughs> I just go all the way in like, oh, I want to do a boxing fight. If you don't know how to fight, then what, the, what are you doing? If you don't know how to fight, then how can you really have any confidence in yourself to say something? How can you have confidence in your word if you don't even know how to, if you don't even know how to defend yourself as a man? And I was like, huh, all right. I'm terrified to fight, but I'll do it because that sounds like that would improve myself. So boom, I go and I train for two months, nearly every single day of my entire two months were devoted to fighting. And I did a boxing match and got the shit that kicked out of me. And my entire life changed, boom, like that. And I come back to my friends and they're probably like, oh my, oh, Grayson seems different, Grayson seems different. Yeah, I am different because I just did something, I just went all the way in for two months. I don't live this normal life. I don't just do nothing all day and just sleep and wake up and just eh, and twerk around and do, do nonsense. I like go at something and I go all the way in and then when I come back, nobody, everybody's like, oh my gosh, you changed so much. Yeah, in your eyes, but if you were next to me, you would be making the same realizations because I just spent eight hours doing this every single day. Boom, 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 you start adding up those hours, that time devoted, and I, and I evolve and change quick, 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 but nobody gets it. And I think you guys are like, oh yeah, we understand you, Grace. No, you don't, because in six months, I'm gonna do something. In four months, I'm gonna do something. In one month, I'm gonna do something. And then you guys are gonna be like, oh my gosh, Grayson changed so much. No, I just grow so at a, such an exponential rate because I go all the way in. I don't waste any time that to everyone else's eyes, I'm just like changing so fast. Does this make sense? Can anyone relate, chat?